This lecture will be on significant figures in multiplication and division. We'll start off with a few multiplication problems. Take the number 3.2 times 6.51. If I do that on my calculator, my calculator will show 20.8 three, two, zero, and then there are just a bunch of repeating zeros. But I can't write that many numbers. I have only two significant figures here and three significant figures here. When multiplying or dividing, the number of significant figures you keep in the result depends on how many you start with. And the number that you can keep in the result is the lesser of the two numbers that you have here. I have only two significant figures in this one. That's all I can keep in the result. The reason for that is the uncertainty in this number starts showing up in that second digit and when I actually multiply these two together the uncertainty will first show up in the second digit here as well. So I actually have to round this off to just 21 and that result has only two significant figures so that's all I can keep there. Let's do another one. Here's one 5.93 times 1.65 when I do that on my calculator the result is 9.78450 and the zeros start repeating after that. But how many significant figures can I keep? Here I've got three significant figures in that number. I have three significant figures in this number. Those are both the same. I can keep three significant figures in the result. And so my result here will be 9.78 and the rest of those, I might use them for rounding at times, like I used the 8 to round to a 21 here, but that's all I could keep. There's nothing to, to use for rounding here. So 9.78, and my result here, three significant figures. Take a look at another one here. I've got 5.937210. Twenty-four. When I multiply that out, well, let's predict first what I'm going to have. I've got six significant figures in this number, but I have only two in this one. And in this one that has only two significant figures, the uncertainty first shows up in that four. That's the imprecision in the measurement. When I multiply these two together, the uncertainty will first show up in the second digit. When I multiply this together I actually get 142.493040 and I think it repeats zeros after that but I can only keep two significant figures and so I can only write this as 140 there's a number with two significant figures as long as there's no decimal point, this zero is not significant. So 140 is all I could write for that. Writing a number like this is not more precise, or like this, or like this. Those numbers aren't more precise than these numbers. They're actually misleading. By writing a number like this, you're telling your reader and implying that you have this many significant figures and you don't. You only had two significant figures here. So to be honest and precise, as precise as you can be given the number of significant figures you actually have, you have to write the correct number of significant figures. Let's look at a couple of division problems. We'll start off with a fairly simple one. 54 divided by 13. Now notice both the top and the bottom have two significant figures. That's all I can keep in the result. But when I do it on my calculator, it shows me all this stuff here. 
four six one five four it just kind of keeps going it may start repeating I'm not sure but I can't keep that many digits with two significant figures in each of these all I can keep are two significant figures so it'll be four point something in this case the 1538 I would round up to 0.2 and so this thing just becomes 4.2 it would be a lot less work if I would just write it that way from the start another problem here 6.25 divided by 125 when I do that I get 0.05 zero 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 it just keeps repeating how do I write that I've got three significant figures on the bottom three significant figures on the top I want to write it with three significant figures but I have to remember leading zeros are not significant so the significant figures have to start at the five and I want to have three of them so I would write it this way 0, 0.0500 0, 0. these two are not significant figures these are significant figures they're to the right of a non-zero digit after a decimal place or with a decimal place showing and so here are the th the significant digits in this problem and this ends up with three significant figures so that's how I do those I'm just going to write down several problems now and I'll let you do the mathematics on them but I'll mention how many significant figures we happen to have in each one 4561 divided by 0.32 okay you can do the arithmetic on your calculator but if you actually write it down we can only keep two significant figures so that's all that result should have 5678 times 12.3 well this has four significant figures this has three significant figures when you multiply those together keep just three significant figures 55 times 141 I have two significant figures here three here the result can only have two significant figures so two significant figures on that result 0 0.801 divided by 974 I have three significant figures here three significant figures here whatever result I get I can keep only three significant figures remember you'll have to round not just chop things off but only three significant figures 62 times 0 0.105 I have two significant figures here I have three significant figures here remember that zero is not significant that one is because it's between two significant figures so this has three significant figures but this has two so I can keep only two significant figures in the result 4.443 times 106 this number has four significant figures this one has three my result can have only three significant figures 1.0 times 1.208333 this has two significant figures this has one two three four five six seven significant figures but since this has only two significant figures that's all I can keep and so this one I can do in my head 
If I multiply something by 1, it's not going to change it, and I can keep only two significant figures, so this one would have an answer of 1.2. That's all I can keep there. 80.175 divided by 14. This has five significant figures. This has only two, so my result can have only two significant figures. I hope this helps you understand what to do with significant figures when you're multiplying and dividing. If you need to see it again, go ahead and watch it again. Ask questions in class if you're one of my students.